choking me. I just reacted. Well, what did you do to him that he came after you like that? He thinks it's my fault that Taylor called off their wedding. Is it? Mother, Rick is paralyzed. It might be temporary, it might not be. How's his mother handling this? You mean has she called off our engagement? Is that no, what you're asking? That's not what I said. I'm sure she's very worried about her son. It's not my fault. And she's not blaming me. Well, that's good. I'm sure he is. Why don't you just tell me about Aunt Pam? Well, the surgery was successful. They removed the mass, but the problem is she doesn't remember. She remembers nothing? No, I guess not. We've got to get her into a psychiatric facility. Mother wants to take her back up to Chicago and put her in the hospital there. The police are okay with that? Well, your father and Donna have agreed not to testify against her. So if they don't do that, then the district attorney has no, no case to go after. Donna agreed to that. Well, the two of them back together now? Your father hasn't said anything to me about calling off their divorce. You haven't given up hope? I actually wasn't thinking of myself at that moment. <laughs> Rick thinks that you're responsible for Taylor not marrying him. But it's because she wants you back. Isn't it? Yes. Hallelujah. Don't start with that. Well, I just think that Taylor's finally come to her senses and... <sighs> make me happy if you did, too. Brooke and I are getting married, Mother. We're very happy together. Honey, you've never had any real long-term happiness with Brooke, you know? There's something has always come between the two of you. You haven't had that kind of luxury. Look, right now she's got this problem with Nick and the baby and this terrible thing that's happened to Rick. Well, we've agreed to deal with that the way we deal with everything, together. Oh. Well, Taylor loves you. She always will. It's different than what you had with Brooke or have with Brooke. With Taylor, it was always peace and contentment. I think the opportunity is here for that again. I hope you won't throw it away. Hope, RJ, and now Jack. He is her son now, and he's uh, part of our family. Well, that baby might be with Taylor if you'd been there for her. What are you talking about? When her marriage with, with Nick fell apart, you, she could have used your support. She had a terrible time bonding with that child. Did she tell you about that? No, Mother, she wasn't reaching out to me then. Well... I think Taylor loves you. You look me in the eye and you tell me that there are no feelings left between you and Taylor. You going to answer me? Yes, I still love her. I can't deny that. We have three children together and a lot of wonderful years. Yes, but you could have a whole lifetime, the rest of your lives together. I mean, she made you happy. So does Brooke. Yeah, it's not the same. Oh, you know that better than I do? Well, <laughs> I understand that overcoming challenges for you is very satisfying. So safe to say, Brooke has given you a lot of satisfaction. Taylor, on the other hand, you had peace and fulfillment. Mother, we had wonderful years together, but that was a long, long time ago. And Brooke made uh, good use of her absence, that's safe to say. Uh... She did help you pick up the pieces of your life, and she has given you something wonderful, your son. But that's why you've stayed with her, isn't it? Brooke and I are very committed to the future together. We want. But it wasn't the kind of life that you had planned on. I told Taylor. Fight Brooke with everything that you have if you want him back. I guess every story has its villain, but I'm not going to let you turn Brooke into one again. What happened, happened. There's no one doing it now. I don't know. Taylor loves you. She always will. If you got back together with her, you'd have your family. And you could have a life, the kind of life that you really deserve. 